Hi, I'm Dan Rosenstark with MIDI Designer and in this video I'm going to talk about Bounce Back which is a new feature for 1.5.3 and that's going to be coming out uh, now at the beginning of July or hopefully before the 1st of July. Okay, I'm starting with an incomplete keyboard here that is controlling Sunriser so these are toggles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Make Similar to complete the keyboard and then we'll see how the numbering is messed up and we'll fix that. So I go to More, Design Mode, and I'm going to do a Make Similar of uh, this E key because it looks exactly like the B key. And then I'm going to do a Make Similar of the D key which looks exactly like the G and the A. So I do Make Similar, Make Similar, bring these over. And now my uh, notes should be out of order, probably. Okay, so um, the notes are out of order. To renumber them, I can renumber the entire page, uh, and they will renumber based on their visual position, which is excellent for this particular case because we're going from left to right, and even the sharps will get in there and get reordered. So I go to design. Uh, tap on the page tab, go to the control actions uh, tab here, renumber controls, channel CC, and I'm going to start on channel 148, which is a C3, and I'm going to do sequential, say OK, and now these should be ordered, and even the sharps. So everything's right and we have a perfect keyboard and now what I want to do is show the feature that I came here to show which is button groups and uh, the new feature which is called bounce back. So uh, button groups work like this. I go into design mode, I'm going to add a crossfader, add a crossfader here and I'm going to make its sub controls all of these buttons. Okay. So I go into relationships, make it a super control. Subcontrols, and I'm going to start with the left side and move to the right side, but the order actually doesn't matter in this particular case. But uh, So I'm going to start dragging and uh, I'm going to speed up the video so that you don't have to watch my dragging. Okay, great. Now I'm going to get uh, out of design mode and make sure that I've actually got a button group here. So I can also move it with the slider, of course, or I could hide the slider in performance mode. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show off two of the options for bounce back. So here's the first one. I go into design mode, double tap on the slider or the crossfader, options as super. And I see this new box here, which is called a button group second press. Tap on that. And right now, the option is button shuts off. That's uh, the option that MIDI Designer works with by default. Um, when, you double t when you tap on a button that's already tapped, uh, it shuts off. No action is the one that a lot of users have been asking for, which makes it exclusive. So I go to no action, apply, and now I have So I have no way to shut off the last note. It's exclusive. One of the buttons is always on. And this is useful for a variety of situations, not necessarily with piano keyboards, but with controls where you want to have, say, one effect always on, one state always on. Um, that's a useful option for bounce back. I'm going to show uh, the cool option now, which is bounce back to previous. And I get in here again, go into options as super, and um, button group second press, bounce to previous value. So let's see how this works.
Okay, so uh, that's a little bit of bounce back and uh, thanks for watching the video and please send me any comments or feedback or questions that you may have and uh, thanks for using MIDI Designer.